Well, here we are on Thursday, August 24th in Eatonton, Georgia at St. Lazar Kennel. Charlie Walker recording. It's going to be 95 degrees today. This is uh, Nicholas with a collar on eating his half-brother Simon. And there comes champion number 311 herding Nicholas around. Aiden, he's the boss. I have to watch him because he'll he'll get the younger males. And let's see, here's a little gal going to New Hampshire to Kelly. There she is right there. This is a terrible view. They always want to get around and jump up and down on your feet when you're trying to take pictures and do videos. Here's a scan. Let's pan over here. You can see the house, the fence, the gate. Here's the kennel. You can see they're out. And they stay out most of the time. We have a great facility here. Six runs. Two to a run sometimes. Can handle 12 dogs. Versus the old days in Jasper County where we could have 24 plus. Now you can see in the distance the fence line, the well house. A lot of blueberries, fruit trees. Um, peach, several figs, comes all the way around. They have all this huge space to roam in, place for me to sit down and pet them. It comes on around here. Great huge 80-year-old um, pecan tree. Drops trash all over the place. <laughs> and a lot of pecans too. There's our container, which is we're about done with, and we're going to either put it in a less obtrusive place or sell it. And we circle right on around back to the kennel. So there we are. And uh, this is just a lovely place. There's a nice little breeze here. It's about 10.45 a.m. And uh, hadn't got real hot yet. But the kennel is air conditioned. And, you know, they go right over there, go in through their little doggy doors that you can see, and lay in their crates. But mostly they just stay out here in the shade of the pecan tree. And they're always busy. Uh, let's see, there's a teddy bear over there, there we are, and they run and play, keep away with that, but mostly as you can see they just hanging around here at my feet. There's a little Miss New Hampshire gal right there. She is pretty small uh, for my females, but perfectly marked, perfectly confirmated and would be a, a show dog if she wasn't already sold. Oh, she's very affectionate. That's her brother, Simon, next to her. You can see the size difference. They were born January 17th, so you can figure that up here, August 24th. I'm keeping him. Oh, man, is he affectionate. But so is Bartholomew and Nicholas and Aiden. But these guys are just super. They just eat you up. Here, go run around so we can do a decent video. There we go. There's Siri over there looking for a good home for her. Price is $2,000. She's about two years old now, I guess. That's not Siri. Excuse me. That's the middle sister, Simon's sister, keeping her. Emmy is their mother. Who's over here? Nicholas, <laughs> what are you hiding from, bud? Okay. There goes Aiden stalking around. Got to make sure he's content with everything that's going on around here. This is not my best video. They're not being very cooperative. Let's see if I can amble over here by the corner of the fence. Up here they come following me. Nicholas and Bart are so much alike that I had to put the collar on him, <laughs> even as experienced as I am. And I'm trying to grab them up quickly and put them in their runs to feed them. Uh, half the time I'd put Bart in instead of Nicholas, so I finally put a collar on him so I can do it quickly. If I have a few seconds, of course, I can see the difference in them, but it's, it's pretty small, um, which is normal. They're half-brothers. 
What do you, hey, don't dig up my yard, please. Don't dig up my yard. That's Aiden. Nicholas. There's a little gal destined for New Hampshire. Right there. Hey, babies. She is a sweetheart. Oh, man. She loves her daddy. But I can say that all of them. And, of course, they're like goats. They're out here in this grassy area. Um, they eat everything but the grass. That's just terriers for you. And I keep a good eye on them, make sure there's no parasites and that sort of stuff. And I keep this treated so we don't get fleas and ticks. So they're very comfortable. They have beautiful coats. Well, that's enough for right now. Um, I love these guys. I can't imagine not having a Manchester around me. Myself. Thank you, Lord, for all these beautiful animals. Thanks for watching, folks.